Welcome to my channel. Today I have a Christmas journal that I'd like to share with you. I hope you guys are having a good day and I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's a, um, I think it might be one of the prettiest journals covers that I've made in a, in a while. So I was real happy. I've been noticing on uh, YouTube a couple ladies were making vintage paper dolls and they were dressing them up so I had to try it so I went and got a vintage print of this lady and then I backed her on some cardstock and then I embellished her dress and then I thought well that it looks like she's going to a Christmas ball so let's put her on the front cover of a Christmas journal because I do have trouble finding things to put on the covers of Christmas journals for some reason there's a lot of things out there but some things I'm not sure that are cover worthy that you would want to look at all the time. But she turned out very, very pretty. So I watercolored her dress in red and then I painted gold metallic highlights in different places. I don't know if you can see it in the light. I think it might shine a little bit on the video. And then I, <coughs> excuse me, I embellished her dress with some pink rosettes and they have little pearls in the middle and a mint green uh, pearl applique, some diamonds for her hair, a little pearl necklace, and then some more of that pink rose applique along the bottom of her dress, some silver trim and some little flowers. And then this is a printout that says a Merry Christmas and I edged it with the gold metallic and a little more of that mint green applique some gold trim on the front and the bottom and then this cover is soft cover it's a vintage fabric over cardstock so it's a soft cover and I made the cardstock on the back green a light green so it shows through a little bit and then I have a lot of lace and ruffles and things sticking out and the um, kit that I used inside for the paper is a new kit in my shop. It's two of them. Um, one is called Evergreen Christmas and the other one is Vintage Christmas Wreath. So those are the papers that I used. And we have a little glassine bag edged in gold, a couple tags. And this is kind of shiny pearlesque green there. Some lace and it has gold filigree shiny through the threaded through the lace, some um, gold foil paper, snowflakes. This is a doily that I backed with some wax paper and then I put some gold over it. Made my little pocket, a couple tags. This is some gold metallic Christmas paper. It's kind of heavy duty. A mirror tag, a mirror rose colored tag and a little digital I edged in silver, silver metallic. And all the papers are tea stained. And then this pocket is embossed and then I put some of that gold metallic paint over it to bring out some of the embossing with some trim. A couple little digitals edged in gold and two tags. And this paper is from another digital in my store. It's some vintage wallpaper, and I thought it looked Christmassy, so I added it in there. And we have a little Christmas ruffle with some rhinestones down the, down the edge, and a little um, snowflake hanging on a pin there, a little, uh, fabric cluster, doily, a little, it's a, it's a envelope with a belly band in the middle of it and the envelope folds out and I've got some digitals in there, some Christmas digitals inside there. Hopefully, oh, I went too far on the picture. Hopefully it shows out. It shows up. Oops. There we go. Make sure it all stays together. 
another ruffle with some more rhinestones some more of that wallpaper digital that I thought looked Christmassy a little side pocket this was a uh, cupcake you know what do they call those things cupcake holder what you make cupcakes in anyways I flattened it out inked it and then I did my little collaging on it and made a little tuck spot it does come off it's just held on by this little clip here and then I collage see the collaged a little picture on it and then tuck a little card in there cupcake holder hmm not sure what they call those the center of the signature Another envelope with a few digitals in there, a few Christmas digitals. Another, and this one is a little bow charm. Another one of those cupcake holders. That are collaged and it will come off and it's just held on by that you can glue it on if you want I just thought well you might want to move it around a little bit that tag is attached to that and that collage on that that part and this is just a Christmassy tag I made This pocket will fold out. I'm not going to do it, but it'll totally fold out and has three different places that you could actually put uh, stuff in it, tuck in it. And I edged it in gold. Metallic gold. Another fabric cluster. And that's just paper clipped in, so that'll come off. Another little ruffle with some rhinestones. This pocket's the same way as that other pocket. It, fold, it folds out and then totally open. But I don't go to all that trouble in this video because the way I fumble around, we'd be here forever, me trying to get it back together. And it's all edged in gold. A little fabric flip, some Christmassy papers. And this is a vintage, off a vintage hangy, hanky with a uh, angel, little gold sparkle on some places. Very pretty. Some sparkly tulle. Some of the vintage fabric that I used for the cover. Another one of those doily pockets. And a couple tags. The doily pocket's got quite good, quite a bit going on. It's very turned out pretty cool. I back it with the wax paper so that it gives it, you know, it doesn't tear. Because those, those are delicate, those doilies, those paper doilies. And then the back cover has a pocket with two tags. And I think you can see how sparkly it is in the light. And that's my Christmas journal. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a great day. And thank you so much for watching and stopping by.